Hey, it's Mike from The Run Testers, and this is our first run review of the ZR Z1 from Zen Running Club. So here are the key stats for the ZR01 from the Zen Running Club. This is a neutral shoe that's plant-based and vegan approved. It weighs in at 286 grams for a US men's size nine or UK size eight, which is actually about 20 grams heavier than the all bird tree dashes. The heel drop is nine millimeters coming in at 24 millimeters at the forefoot and 33 millimeters at the heel. There's a sugarcane based rocker midsole, a eucalyptus lyocell sock fit upper, a natural rubber outsole and castor bean sock liner. So fit for me has generally been okay. This is a eight and a half. I would normally run in a UK size eight. I can generally get away with half a size, but I think in this shoe, it definitely felt a little bit long for me, a little bit too much space up front here in the toe box. Um, so I think um, it's definitely a true to size one. If I had it in eight, I think that it would have a little bit, it would fit a little bit more snug and a little bit more to my liking. Um, because other than that, actually, I think it fit really well. Um, I think, you know, you kind of get a nice kind of narrow kind of locked in feel with the midfoot. Um, I think this upper is nice and comfortable. Um, there's a lot of similarities definitely with the all birds in terms of the upper. Um, you've got similar kind of springy laces. Um, you've got this kind of more flexible, stretchy um, kind of collar around the heel. Um, I definitely say, you know, you get a little bit more padding on the all birds. It's, it's not a lot of padding at the heel here. So that might be an issue for some people in terms of the comfort. Um, I don't get any kind of slippage or anything like that, but generally it was fine. Um, and yeah, these laces sit quite nice and comfortable on the top of the foot. Um, this kind of uh, collar does kind of sit and kind of locks, I think, nice enough around uh, around the foot as well. So yeah, generally the, actually a really comfortable upper and it fit generally okay. What I will say though is, yeah, I, you know, if it was an eight, I think it would be perfect. Half a size didn't quite work for me, but I could get away with it. But yeah, ultimately I would have had it um, in an eight. And I think that's what most people should go true to size in this shoe. So I managed to do a couple of runs in this shoe and the first run was kind of a 10K, relatively quick 10K um, kind of run where I kind of threw some intervals in the end, see how this kind of handled at kind of some of the quicker stuff. And then um, a really comfortable five mile uh, run as well, both on road, um, relatively flat um, road as well. And what I will say is I was pleasantly surprised um, with what I got from the shoe. I was definitely skeptical about this shoe and what it could kind of deliver and this promise of a kind of more technical uh, kind of sustainable running shoe actually it did pretty well and I actually really enjoyed running in the shoe in those two runs um, now having spoken to the Zen Running Club guys you know they've kind of hinted that this has kind of been inspired by the Nike um, React Infinity Run shoe um, and it definitely has vibes of that um, in terms of the look and the silhouette but I just found the the sugarcane um, kind of midsole actually kind of really lively, enjoyable, nice and bouncy. I think you've got a nice rock uh, kind of rocker feeling uh, to this shoe as well. Um, and at those quicker paces, it actually worked pretty well, uh, which I don't think I could really say um, with the Orbo shoe, which I think purely because it feels a little bit heavier, a little bit kind of chunkier, um, just felt more comfortable at kind of those kind of comfortable, easier paces. Where I think with this shoe, it did feel like um, you could run a little bit quicker in them and actually they felt fine. Now the only real issue I had here was that because this is an eight and a half, it definitely felt like a big eight and a half. And I kind of, I felt like I was slapping about a bit um, when, on the quicker stuff. Um, so I think in an eight, uh, which was a, been a better fit for me. So in terms of the outsole, it's a slightly different setup to what you get on some of the All Birds. Um, you've got a bit more uh, kind of emphasis on the um, kind of top end of the shoe and the back end. Um, I've not seen kind of obviously only a couple of runs in, I haven't seen anything uh, worrying in terms of wear. I am getting a little bit kind of stuck inside some of the grooves, but ultimately, um, 
the outsole kind of worked really well for me no kind of major issues generally running or ran on kind of dry roads so generally in terms of the feeling the responsiveness of this shoe actually the the cushioning felt really nice to you know feel really nice underfoot um yeah i i enjoyed running in this shoe it's one that i'm actually looking forward to running a little bit more in um it's kind of so far so good um i think the upper works really nice as well so yeah kind of first run or first couple of runs I think the ZR01 has actually um, impressed me um, actually really uh, quite a lot and uh, I'm actually looking forward to doing a lot more running in this. So my first run thoughts on the ZR01 from Zen Running Club is that I think it really showcases what potentially can happen or what is happening with sustainable running shoes. Now we've seen that these shoes can be made and they can be made better for the planet and they, you know, they are something that you would want to go running with. But I think the shoes that are out, the other shoes that are out there, you maybe want to do some running, you may want to do your hardest runs, you maybe want to turn to it for training runs. Well, I think maybe potentially here you have a shoe that is capable of that. I found you could run a little bit quicker in here. I think you could use it for some training sessions. Um, and then again, you've got a shoe that is uh, a more sustainable um, option now. So we do, of course, have to talk about pricing and the ZR01 comes in at £129 and $139. So it's kind of sitting there and thereabouts with the Allbirds Dasher, which is kind of, you can pick up at 120 pounds and then you've got the, something like the Vasia Condor 2, which is around 90 pounds I've, I've kind of seen it for. So it's not cheaper. It's kind of sitting around the same price point. Um, we were hoping maybe it might be a little bit cheaper, but actually it's kind of sitting there with the rest of the competition in terms of pricing. I think it's very promising. I've had a couple of good, really good runs in this shoe. Um, I like it's been comfortable to wear. I've you know I felt comfortable kind of walking around with it and also just going out and doing some kind of harder running in it. And I think you know that is an exciting aspect here. But yeah, a lot will boil down to the price. Hopefully they will keep it um, relatively um, affordable or within line with the other shoes, sustainable running shoes that are out there. But so far, so good for me with the ZR01. Um, I've really enjoyed running uh, in the shoes so far. Um, I did wish I had it in a smaller eight, but you know that that is that is a minor here i think really but uh yeah i've been really impressed with this shoe and i'm actually really looking forward to running a lot more uh in the zr01 so there you have it that was our first run review of the zr01 by zen running club now if you've got any questions let us know in the comments as always like and subscribe hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos and yeah we'll see you for the next run testers video